In 2012, uh, February, I was hit with necrotizing pancreatitis. I wound up being lifelighted to Cleveland Clinic where I was on life support for 18 days. I was in ICU for 31. I then was in and out of the hospital for several months after with complications. In August of that year, due to my illness, I lost my job. The following month, I lost my car. We had to give that up. And that same month, which would have been September 2012, my husband was diagnosed with leukemia. I was in one hospital, he was in another. He made a phone call to me while he was in the hospital and he was on oxygen, which he told me that. And he simply called to tell me that he loved me That was as brief as our conversation was. I got to tell him that I loved him and he told me that he loved me. What he didn't tell me was that he knew they were putting him on the ventilator. And then I found out two days later on Christmas Eve as I was being released from the hospital that he was actually on life support. When I saw him laying there on the ventilator, it was then that I knew that I wasn't gonna get to speak to him again and that he knew that that phone conversation on the Sunday before when he called me to tell me that he loved me he knew that that was going to be our last conversation I was very angry and frustrated for months that I did not get to spend those last days with him Al was the most wonderful husband and father. He had a heart of gold. He would do anything for us. He would walk through fire for his family. And during that entire year of 2013, I fell into a very deep depression. I spent every single day in bed, not getting out of bed, not really wanting to live my life anymore. I felt I had no life since everything had been taken away from me. I totally lost my faith in God. I was both angry at Him, yet at the same time didn't believe in Him, and I'm not sure how you can do both of those things at the same time, but I felt I had to have somebody to blame. So I went all of that year totally without faith. I finally asked for help. I told my daughter, my daughter's fiance, that I was ready to go speak to someone. She was tr truly amazing through it. She had strength when I didn't, and she kept me going, and I love her more than anything for that. By a very coincidental meeting on Facebook, I found an old friend and he told me his story of how he lost his faith and regained it. He and his wife, they invited me to come to Cedar Creek with them. The moment I walked in the doors at Cedar Creek for the first time, I was welcomed by so many people with hellos and it was such a warming place and a comfortable place to be. And I went into the service and listened to the music when you have depression, you don't feel anything, yet the first beat of the music, I actually felt something for the first time since my husband had passed away. So it was almost two years that I finally actually felt something. And then when the pastor started speaking and telling the story for the, for the day, I honestly thought that my friends had told him my story and that he was speaking directly to me. I remember crying through that entire service and I've never been moved like I was that day.
My life has changed completely since I've come to Cedar Creek and started Celebrate Recovery. It's been the most amazing past six months. I, I can't believe what it's done for me mentally and spiritually. It's turned my entire world around. My faith has been totally restored. And that was something I never thought could happen. I now feel that I have a connection with God. I actually have a relationship with Christ. And that's something that I've never experienced before.